In the epic of the northern peoples there are many legends and legends associated with the Putarana Plateau. The land of eternal darkness and death was often called the Putarana. The inhabitants of the tundra, Nunats, Dolgans and Kato's and Ganism, and unless absolutely necessary, very rarely came here. And only the Venks actively mastered almost the entire area of the plateau. They have been the keepers of Putaran secrets for the last centuries. And secrets are not enough. What only is worth Golden Baba, hidden somewhere in a cave in the center of the plateau. Until this porous guardians protect it from hungry for gold. In our time, in the central part of Putaran, only the crumbling remains of the camps and rare lonely idols remind of this development. Plateau once actively mastered in more ancient civilizations. This is evidenced by numerous findings, information about which sometimes becomes public. There are masonry, the remains of colonnades, processed megalithic blocks, the remains of statues, man-made caves and much more. And of course it's the pyramids. Ruins of ancient buildings and other traces of ancient civilizations are found not only in many valleys of the plateau. There are many of them on its flat tops, stretching over vast spaces. In our time they are sometimes covered with sparse tundra vegetation, and the vast area is a barren stone wasteland. Apparently active development of these places by people, occurred when it was much warmer, and the surface of the plateau was covered with forests. To determine the temporal affiliation of all these finds, and to find out who these own builders were, is a matter of the future. For now, official science ignores all these findings. But maybe it's for the best. Our civilization is not ready to gain access to the secrets of ancient peoples. And therefore, they must remain so until the right time comes. The study of the Putaran Plateau began only in the 4050s of the 20th century. Until then, even maps of the area did not exist. Lake Lama, for example, appeared on maps only in the late 30s of the 20th century. A few expeditions passed, and after a short time left, leaving the plateau alone. There have never been permanent settlements in the area. In the 70-90 years of the 20th century, on the plateau Putarana annually thrown quite a lot of tourist groups, there were many many hunting and fishing points. But due to the constant increase in tariffs for helicopters, the only transport available to the vast majority of the plateau, the flow of tourists has sharply decreased. Fishing points have been abandoned. A huge part of the plateau became completely deserted. Many valleys have not been visited by humans for decades. Plateau Putarana, this is one of the very few, completely undeveloped, and almost deserted places on our planet.